I'm saved and I'm going to heaven, so give me some more milk. Give me some more milk. I don't want any of that stuff. Well, you came to the wrong place. Because we're going to grow. Amen? Amen? Now look what it says. Why? Instead, we will speak the truth in love. Right now, I'm speaking the truth to you in love. Amen. People think love is, oh, come here, I love you. <laughs> no, read your Old Testament. God loved his people enough to what? Yeah. As a matter of fact, by you letting people get away with stuff, that's a lack of love. It's a lack of love. Because you want, no, because you want people to like you and accept you, so you don't want to step on it. No, if God says no, you tell them like it is, so they can change, you do it. Amen. And you leave the consequences to God. Amen. You don't just say, oh, well, I don't want to. Say. No, no, good, then let them die then. Amen. Jesus says, you will die in your sin. If somebody, God puts somebody in front of you to stop you, stop them. Amen. Say, listen, that's wrong. You're, you're going you're gonna to die. I love you enough to tell you that. Yep. No, nope, the world's love is, it's okay. Mm -hmm. let, me let me go talk to him. How is that working? Go try to, go try to tell somebody, to, go try to discipline somebody by saying, don't worry about it, just don't do it again. See how good that works. Go ahead. How does that work for you? Some people have to go what? To jail. Time to do a lot of hard times before they find any freedom. Because they won't listen to what? Well, God wants to lead us with the eyes. He I love you. Don't do it. But when you don't, when you don't turn from it, guess what? He starts putting adversity and problems in your life. God loves you. Right? Now look what it says, though. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ. Who is the head of his body? So, what's the example? Jesus is the example. If you want to know how God would want you to live down here, look how Jesus lived his life. And that's how God wants his body to live. Amen. We're supposed to be molded and shaped into his image, not our image. Amen. Or what we think is right or wrong. Amen. What right or wrong is, is in the Bible. His ways are not our ways. Now look what it says. Growing in every way, who is the head of the body, the church. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly. Yes. See it? Amen. How does it fit together perfectly? When we're all on the same page and you understand why you're here. That's how it fits perfectly. You're here for a reason. You're here to serve God. I'm not here to serve me. Amen. I'm here to serve God. And that makes it work because we all what? Grow. That's what maturity is all about. Yep. Say it ain't about me. That's right. Forget my feelings. I feel like crap, but I'm still going. Yeah. I, I, don't, I feel Amen. like I don't like somebody, but I'm still going. Amen. Our feelings will always get in the way. Yeah. We're, in a, we're in unity through diversity. Here. Look at the motley crew here. Amen. If I was to like sit with everybody and say, you know what? I do out. What's wrong with this? I really think... <laughs> No, no, we don't think like that. We accept you because you're all what? You believe in Jesus. Amen. That's what, you know what, because that's where families go from. You don't agree with me, I'm not your friend. If you don't have the same views as me, I have nothing in common with you. The thing that keeps us in common here is the blood of Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. Not our differences of what we wear or what we listen to. That's the Holy Spirit's work to help us filter that out. Amen. Those are gray areas that God works out. Amen. Sin is sin. It's clearly defined in the Bible. There's other gray areas. Amen. Like the Bible doesn't tell you what kind of listen, music to listen to. If you're sensible enough, you listen to music that builds up and edifies. Amen. But if you're still in the flesh, you're going to listen to crazy stuff that's going to make you nuts. I know. I realize that myself. Here I am trying to be spiritual, and I'm listening to this stuff that's making me fleshly. And it's making me, and it's definitely getting me back in the flesh. Because yeah. music has a way of bringing you back. Yes. Yeah. Saying, oh man, I'm all set with that. I can't do that. Because I like it. My flesh likes it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I used to listen to that song, I can't drive 55, no, 60, 65, 70, 70. <laughs> Yeah, I can't drive 55. <laughs> Here I was doing just fine. Right until I started hearing that song. 
Instead of listening to Jesus take the wheel. Yeah. There you go. No, 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 think about it. You let Jesus take the wheel and you start calming down. The Bible tells us to make no provision for the flesh. I'm trying to be encouraged, man. You can listen to what you want to. God's not going to condemn you or anything for it. It only hurts you. Anything that's going to make me in my flesh has to go. And everything that's going to make me more spiritual has to stay. Very simple. <laughs> oh, that was hard to figure out, right? I used to listen to that crazy stuff. Growing, look. And each part does its own special work. Look, here it is right here. Each part does its own special work. Are you part of this ministry? Yes. Well, you have a special work to do. Whether it's singing or writing down the pages or helping people, or who knows when it grows, you know, helping children or whatever it might be. Holding the door, watching the door, make sure everybody's safe. That's important. Amen. God says, if you, if you put me last, then you'll suffer when you put me last. Because you, you, you're going back to your flesh again. Think about it. You spend an hour here. You can still, is that going to stop you from doing anything else after? You can still do what you want to do. As a matter of fact, this might help you from doing it. Yeah. You come here, and it stops you from doing what you want to do. Yeah. In the yeah. flesh. You say, you know what, I'm going to go home and read my Bible. Yeah. You feel like, you know what? Down the road, you say, oh, I'm so glad I made that choice. Yeah. Not the other one I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. <coughs> See? Serving is what keeps, you know, staying here, helping clean up, putting the tables away, sticking around for a while, fellowship with other people, what? Keeps us out of the flesh. Mm -hmm. But when you <laughs> beeline out the door, because what? Because you don't want to be spiritual. I, don't, <laughs> I got things to do. Oh, I'm done. Think about it. I don't know how long are we here till after the police is. How long are we here usually? We almost hit a nine o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. After it's over. Because what am I going to do after? Where am I going? There's going to be any spiritual benefit then when my brother and sister, somebody might have a question or somebody might need help with someone, somebody might be going through something. You're here to help them or pray for them or something. You're serving. Yeah. I can't make you do it. I'm just telling you the Lord's ways. Because it says, look at verse 17. Living as children of light. Let me ask you a question. Do you have the light in you? Do you? Absolutely. Well, it tells you to live if you do. If you have the light, if you say you have the light, right? Yep. Well, it tells you living as children of light. Amen. With the Lord's authority, I say this. Live no longer as the Gentiles do. What does that mean? Live no longer like I used to live. Yep, yep. For they are hopelessly confused. See, you're not confused anymore because you get truth here. Mm -hmm. You're not confused yeah. how to live. Um, God tells you to put that stuff away. Look, their minds are full of darkness. Let me tell you something. When you come to church and you have the light, that's the only thing that's going to replace your mind full of darkness. And you have to keep replacing that mind because there's a lot of darkness still in there. Have you not noticed? Yes. Mm -hmm. Notice when you're alone how much darkness is in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get some twisted thoughts sometimes. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. I'm talking about stuff that nobody ever sees or ever knows about. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. That twisted stuff? Mm -hmm. Perversions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they're quiet. How do we know? Because <laughs> I go through it. And there's only one way to overcome that. Jesus. Yes. Not Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Jesus is the Word. Yeah. Stop playing games, brothers and sisters. Jesus is the Word of life. Amen. What you're thinking of is death. The only thing that's going to change that is life. The Word of God has to get in here and change it. Wouldn't it be great if we had a thought of heaven? Instead of mm. that other perverse stuff that you think about? Yeah. Oh. Well, you know how long it takes to get that out and this in? You think it's going to happen by osmosis? Come on, Jesus, come down into my brain. Take out that filthy, no. rotten thought I was just thinking about while I was in church. 
It's real here. You know I'm real here. Amen. Ain't no church faces in here because guess what? I'm the worst one here. <laughs> My thoughts are corrupt. So you can't really fool me when you come in. Oh, I'm doing great. Are you? How's your thought patterns? <laughs> How's your thought patterns when nobody sees you? How's that? How great are those? Is this replacing that? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Jesus loves me. This I know, because the Bible tells me so. Get behind me, Satan, for it is written. He who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. Ah, how about that stuff? Is that infiltrating your mind? Or? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. From the devil. Yeah, no kidding. So are we. We're all children of the devil before we find Jesus. Yes. When you're calling someone else a devil, you're denying that you were one. Yep. Yep. Saying, what you're seeing in them is you. Oh, you don't like that, right? You don't, you don't, whatever you're seeing in them is you. Because we all have the same heart, the Bible says. That's why it says, judge not and not be judged. Amen. Guess what? If you do see something like that, and you are doing that, say, you know what, that must be me. That's God that God showing me a mirror. Amen. That's maturity. Keep it quiet, right? Who loves you? Jesus loves you. Now look what it says. Their minds are full of darkness. They wander far from the life God gives. He's talking to believers. Look. Because they have closed their minds and hardened their hearts against them. Can you, can you close your mind and harden your heart against God? How many of us already have? Yeah. At times. Yes. What do you think a hard heart is? It's a closed mind. Yeah. And want nothing to do with God's ways. I'll listen to it, but I ain't doing it. They have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasure and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. But that isn't what you learned about Christ. You don't learn about that here, do you? Look what it says. Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that come from him, what does it tell us to do? Throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Wait a minute. Holy Spirit, renew my thoughts. No, people actually think that. Oh, I'm going to pray and it's just going to go away. No, that's not how it works. Because how's that working? Look, instead, let the Spirit put on your new nature. You mean I have a new nature? So I have to throw off John, put on my new nature, create it to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Amen? Amen. God is good. Don't you want to be right? Don't you want to be that way now? I don't want to be that miserable old goat. I see miserable old goat Christians in church. I'm saying, how can you be a miserable old goat with what Jesus did for you? Misery. You go and talk to them, nothing but worldly stuff, nothing from the Word of God. No iron shopping an iron. World shopping in the world. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen? All right, we're going to stop there. Thank you. Wow. Thank God, you. Say, God. God. Thank you. God is good, right? God is good, man. You're a miracle. Just remember that when you get up tomorrow. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me to be more like you and less like me. Oh, that's so like that. Brittany's going to come up and sing when we close.